Hello and welcome to Dark Voice. Today we will be talking about the Resurrection Sculpture, which sits in Vatican City in Rome. The sculpture was built by Pericle Fazzini, an Italian painter and sculptor. It was completed on September 28, 1977. It stands 66 feet tall, 23 feet wide, and weighs 80 metric tons. The statue is located in the center of the Pope Paul VI audience hall. This is in the Vatican City in Rome. The six is seen in the height, as well as the six seen in the Pope Paul VI audience hall, worry some. But this is just the beginning of the conspiracies. While building the sculpture, the reported polystyrene fumes gave Fazzini a blood clot in his lung, which could be a coincidence or point to the evil masterpiece that he was creating. Now let's talk about the statue. The statue is made to represent mankind and the threat of nuclear war. Jesus is seen to be rising above the flames and destruction of a post-nuclear blast with several of his angels. At first sight, it is not obvious that the statue represents these angelic figures. The hair that attaches to Jesus' head is extremely matted and creates the picture of a serpent. The serpent-like head has been seen to represent evil, and the hall that the statue sits in is already associated with a serpent-like figure. The two windows on the lateral walls of the audience hall appear to make snake eyes, while the columns at the presenting stage represent fangs. It is thought that when spectators are viewing the presenting stage, the audience hall is devouring them. The conspiracy regarding the sculpture is that it is seen as the devil arising from hell with demons next to him, and it is seen as a spawn of evil on earth. The sculpture is more closely linked with the evil deity Baphomet. Baphomet was a deity that the Knight Templars were said to have worshipped. Although not exactly linked to the devil, Baphomet is closely associated with the occult and witchcraft. When the right and left halves of the statue are mirrored, Baphomet is said to be seen in the sculpture's head. It is up to you whether to believe the conspiracies regarding the sculpture, but the possibility is always there. Thank you for watching.